Down in Cleveland, Kareem Hunt, man's been seeking a contract extension. That didn't happen. And so since that didn't happen, he is now asking to be traded. The Cleveland Browns are saying nah to that as well. What you got on Kareem Hunt? The Lions had a chance to get Kareem Hunt before in a very different situation. Not that he requested a trade, but after he was released because of the video that, uh, of obviously what he did. And there are a lot of Lions fans uh, that wanted him then. The Lions said, no, thank you. And then he ends up going to Cleveland. And then there is a lot of Lions fans that still want him because he's still a very good player, even though it seems like he comes with some extra baggage. The idea is probably if you sign Kareem Hunt, you're going to have to give him that contract extension too, or he's not going to really want to play with you either. So with the Lions, I'd want them to do it because I, I think Kareem Hunt's a great player. The Lions are a place where running backs can come and succeed now with the offensive line that they have. And then you already have the injury history with DeAndre Swift. And then you can just really have a three-headed monster with Jamal Williams, Kareem Hunt, and DeAndre Swift because Jared Goff isn't going to win you any games. They'll pass in the ball 40, 45 times. So if you're going from like, okay, I want the Lions to win, you can obviously do that. And then I don't think Jamal Williams' contract is here for that much longer anyway. And... I would rather have Kareem Hunt on my team than I would Jamal Williams. So I'd give Kareem Hunt the extension reasonably priced. Of course, I wouldn't go out here and give him Derrick Henry money or something. But I'd give Kareem Hunt an extension and then go in with this year with, again, just a Cerebus at running back. Cerebus? <laughs> Cerebus. Whoever yeah. that three had um, is. Yeah, it's an interesting situation with Hunt. I mean, you got a guy who is – from around here, in a sense. I mean, he grew up in Lorain, Ohio, which is a stone's throw from Cleveland. He went to with Toledo, which is right below us. So he's from the Midwest, and I'm sure Cleveland was probably his team growing up, considering he lived literally like 10 minutes away. That would be my guess. It wasn't the Lions, but a Midwestern kid. So he knows the weather, has no problem playing in the weather for road games anyway. Home games, you're in a comfy dome at 70 degrees, so it's not an issue there. But for road games, it wouldn't be an issue for him. And you're talking about a kid, third-round pick out of Toledo, as a rookie, leads the NFL in rushing yards, and has a great year in 2018 until... <laughs> until November of, of 18 when the when they had the footage for a few months of what went down and bam he gone and out of Kansas City and Cleveland did what they did with Deshaun Watson they signed him while they not knowing what was going to happen to him he ended up being suspended for eight games and now he's sharing the backfield with Nick Chubb and having the most touchdowns for the Browns last season he had 11 six of them rushing five receiving he was third behind Nick Chubb and to Ernest Johnson and then they also he also sees Cleveland draft a running back out of Cincinnati so now you're getting a pretty full backfield there as far as running backs are concerned and he wants to be a lead back again he had a a glimpse of it in Kansas City and then unfortunately threw it all away yeah. and he's trying to get back to that he's 27 years old he hasn't had that big big contract that you especially for running backs in the NFL your shelf life is only so long those knees go and the hits take their toll and he wants to get it while he still can at 27 years old he is not over the hill by any means he's easily got three four really good years left in him at least as a lions fan and would love to see a really great running back back there that could stay on the field and that's another problem with his as well calf and ankle issues kept him off the field last year as well as COVID. but having that ability that he has as far as running the ball as well as receiving the ball I'm all for it. I'd love to see the Lions make a stab at bringing Kareem. I'd like to, too. And another reason that I would really like having Kareem Hunt here and wouldn't mind paying him, again, a reasonably priced contract, is because in my ideal Lions scenario, Jared Goff is not the quarterback beyond this year. So that probably means that you're going to end up with a rookie quarterback and then you're going to have a rookie quarterback salary, which allows you to pay – other positions maybe more than you would like to pay them because you're paying your quarterback so little and then if you have that young quarterback the best thing that helps them succeed is a really good running game which if you keep that offensive line intact and there's no reason that you wouldn't you will have a really good running game with DeAndre Swift and Kareem Hunt again Jamal Williams is probably like out of the picture at that point and then also a really good defense which Kareem Hunt doesn't help at all if you can stay on the field a little bit longer because your running game so dominant maybe your defense gets a little bit extra rest and that's really not Kareem Hunt's concern 
anyway, he'd come here to, to again, score touchdowns. And him and DeAndre Swift can really be used in similar roles and as a defense. Like, you just don't know what you're going to get. Imagine if you came out and you had DeAndre Swift on one side and Kareem Hunt on the other. Like, how would you defend that, right? Either one can go out for a pass and hurt you there. They can hand the ball off to either one and they could hurt you there. And then as a defense, I just think it'd be really frustrating to have to deal with that. And the Lions might be in a position where they're able to overpay for a running back because... Right. And having a rookie making, quarterback back rookie. there, it'd be nice to have a running back like Kareem Hunt who can do the two things he does oh so well offensively with running the ball and receiving the ball. But he's also a good blocking running back. So he's going to be able to pick up that safety, that linebacker that comes in and at least give that a rookie quarterback another second or so to get rid of the ball if he needs to. It would definitely be helpful for the Lions whether Goff's here or not. I know both you and myself do not envision Jared Goff being the starting quarterback for the Lions beyond this year. We'd love to see them go out and get uh, someone else because he's owed a heck of a payday and neither one of us think that Jared Goff is worth whatever that payday may be unless he is really willing to take a drastic cut considering he just got super paid but generally they don't work that way unless you are falling towards the end of your career. Yeah, exactly. So That's I don't think that. either one of us envisions that happening and we're preparing for the future without 16 being here after this year. And it'd be nice to have some of that extra security in the backfield with another great running back and one who has the ability to be the lead guy as long as he can stay healthy on the I don't know that Jared Goff has gained the respect <laughs> needed bad. for him to just refer to him by his number. <laughs> Well, yeah, un unfortunately, for at least for the Lions fans right now, Cleveland has no plans to do anything with Kareem Hunt. They are not trading him, and they're not giving him a contract extension as of right now. We'll see if the tunes change on that one. But if he did become available, I'd love to see the Lions take a shot and try and add Kareem Hunt to our backfield because I think it would be a boost for the Detroit offense if he was there. Yeah, me too. It probably wouldn't cost you a whole lot in terms of draft compensation either, because if it, I guess if it did, then the deal might have already been done mm -hmm. if people were out here throwing around second round picks or something for Kareem Hunt. Hey, Ryan Griffin here. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Griffin and Bats. Be sure to give us your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to click the bell to receive the latest notifications from DSN and subscribe for breaking news, community blogs, polls, contests, and other content.